Australia is a fast-paced, diverse society, full of people of different shapes, sizes, colours, races, religions, ethnicities, you name it, it's here. Despite being only 2% of the population, Muslims have seen a rise in racist attacks against them, with Welcome to Australia Ambassador Marianne Vezidar being the target of an online hate campaign. So how common is this anti-Muslim sentiment? I'm sure that Muslim women bear the brunt of racism or anti-Muslim racism simply because if they wear hijab, they are identifiable. Whereas if you walk down the street, you can pass a dozen Muslim men and you wouldn't know whether they are Muslim or not because they dress the same as anyone else and they look the same as anyone else. I had about two bad experiences. The worst one was being pushed and shoved by some ignorant man in the, in the market. But it's not just Muslim women. Last year, the New South Wales Anti-Discrimination Board received 1,200 complaints. Of those, 230 were because of race, and 50 specifically were due to racial vilification. So how do we combat this issue in society? The law potentially could go further because in New South Wales, we also have uh, racial vilification statutes in New South Wales. The main one is a civil law that makes it unlawful so that someone can make a complaint. There's another provision, section 20D of the Anti-Discrimination Act New South Wales, that is very narrowly worded. So it only makes the incitement of racial hatred an offence if it's likely to cause physical harm to a person. According to Jamila, the racist few are outnumbered by the tolerant majority. Hopefully this improves in the future. Ibn Afar just landed.